For many women with the disease of addiction, the internal struggle is that of self-acceptance. Many of us have internalized messages that leave us feeling incomplete, unworthy, and without value. I'm reading from Queen Baby. Uh, hello, this is Yvonne from the Berks Rise Center and the Council on Chemical Abuse. So we've been talking about Queen Baby because we are celebrating Women's History Month. And what better way to celebrate the joys of womanhood uh, than by internal introspection, taking a look at our values, taking a look at who we are, and determining if there is room for growth, uh, and if so, how do we go about best ways of capturing the essence of who we are and developing our queen selves? And so Queen Baby, as we've been talking about during the month of March for Women's History Month, is an introspection, is a look at the innate qualities that we are born with. And if they're not nurtured and we are not given the tools to ask for what we want, we begin to find ways that capitalize and benefit us. And so Queen Baby allows us to take a deep, hard look at that introspection of womanhood, of growing and developing and finding out who we are, dissembling those things that might not be working for us and building our foundation for good. And so I wanna kind of to continue these conversations from Queen Baby excerpts to say, we value who we are as women. And so we begin when we're not looking to fulfill ourselves for ourselves, we look on the outside and we begin to seek out validation by focusing on what we have and who we have. We look to fill the void with compulsive behavior that provides temporary relief from our shame and unhappiness. And we do that through different ways, such as chemical, food, shopping, gambling, exercise, and even sex. We try to fill that void to make us feel better. We become trapped in a cycle of looking to the outside to fix the inside. And so queen baby syndrome uh, comes to surface when we look to everyone else trying to fulfill our needs and we're not trying to fulfill our own needs. And we do that through assembling different characteristics, different behaviors. We look for that in relationships. We look for that in the work that we do. We look to value ourselves based on who we are, who we know, who we're with, etc. And the reality is, is that that can be a trap for us. If we're not careful, if we're not nurturing ourselves from the inside, if we're not letting ourselves know that we are glamorous beauties inside and out, and we're not valuing what's helpful for us, what we value, what we nurture from the inside, and we're looking to get that on the outside, then we fall into that trap of the self baby, the queen baby syndrome. And so it says, this child within us who is trying to get her needs met is scared and lonely. We have been hurt and will work hard to avoid painful experiences. Many of us grieve a childhood that was cut short by parental dysfunction or addiction. And then similar to children, we engage in magical thinking, believing that we look better when we do more, when we act as if we are perfect, then we achieve true happiness and will be fulfilled. And these are really false self-fulfilling prophecies, right? We try to engage in that merriment of wondering um, who we could be, which is sometimes why we get involved in looking at different shows. Uh, I'm remembering a friend of mine saying, lifetime isn't reality, and it really isn't, but we can get escape into that dream world, and we try to fixate our lives to compete with that dream world, only to find that when that dream world that we know, known as reality, hits us in the face, then our world gets shattered and we begin to point the finger at other folks saying, well, you did this to me or this didn't happen because I wasn't pretty enough. And those messages that we get from other people about ourselves, we begin to believe them. And so we're hoping that as we continue to walk through the different characteristics about Queen Baby in those traps, how we can disassemble them and we can shake them off to get new different ideas 
to gather information about ourselves, to consequent ourselves with good feelings and good thoughts about who we are and making that merriment of elevating our womanhood to uh, fulfill our dreams about who we best can be and nurturing ourselves in a healthy and honest way. So let's think about how do we day to day honor who we are as women uh, through our grace and space Maybe that's taking quiet time with ourselves, or maybe that's making a meal for especially for ourselves, because that nurturing within us and for us is what capitalizes us to be the women that we are meant to be. So we're going to come back again next time and talk a little bit more about this uh, handbook of Queen Baby, but I'm hoping I've given you some thought for today about nurturing the true woman that you are uh, so that you can fulfill your best purposeful self. Thanks.